What up, fam? Today, we're at the lease. I'm going to go ahead and get ready for this year's hunting season. Uh, there's a lot of work to be done. Uh, we have three feeders out here, four stands. So what we're going to try and do today is get our uh, feeders filled. And then there's uh, one feeder that I need to move. And then one tree stand that I need to move. It's a lot of work to be done. Uh, hopefully this year will be a great successful year like last year. I'm hoping to get Jake out here for opening season, see uh, with the archery, see if he can be successful again, just like last season. So I'll show you the ropes and see, uh, show you what I what I do and uh, how the stands are set up. There's one stand here that um, our first one that we're going to be working on. A big bear hit it, so and now it's kind of hanging off of a tree. Uh, so just to work on it and just get it, you know, filled up is a little bit of uh, work. But I'll show you how it is, and you know. When, uh, when it's all done, said and done, uh, what we have going on. See you soon. Well, fam, we're at the first feeder. As you can see, as I told you before, I had to hang this one. Because there was a bear. The tree stand is down there. And uh, lo and behold, the bear is back. So, um, found the motor on the ground. Looks like it was... Uh, ripped so now I gotta replace it another thing that I found was um, again the camera hasn't been working for quite some time uh, so I was gonna change the battery thing and the battery was done um, but no it seems like it's uh, when I open this it seems like the cellular one is flashing meaning that uh, it has no sim so it's not really connecting to the app so that means i'm gonna have to replace this camera too All right, fam, <clears throat> we're at the second feeder now. As you can see, this one too got vandalized. Tree stand, it's up there. This one we call the Jake stand. This is where my 10-year-old uh, son uh, normally hunts from. It's an easy access. I know it's a little bit on the open side, on the wide open, but it's easy for, for me and him to kind of... Uh, come in from the from that side right there um, and then get all, get up on the tree stand um, usually I think this is about a 35 yard shot which he's done pretty well um, but yeah now I gotta fix this one fix the motor looks like the motor is jacked up too on it um, Yeah, let me figure this out. And then um and then we'll we'll go from there. Get part of the bracket. I straightened out the the hopper, but all the brackets are bent. Clean this up, lubing it, get them straight, and put it all back together. Six bags of corn. All right, so about after an hour and a half of rebuilding the motor, I uh, put new screws in. This was all loose. I think that's probably had a lot to do with it. As you imagine, squirrels and raccoons just coming up here. Now it's solid. Uh, now I'm just gonna go ahead and finish packing it up. I put a brand new battery in it. Gonna go ahead and put the cover on and uh, this one is done. This is the third feeder. Obviously something happened here. Like the corn. Looks like the, maybe the motor failed. Corn 
spoiled and almost looks like it's melted the, the feeder but we'll take parts off of this and uh, rebuild the other one all right this is my new location we're going to set up i had this one out here just so we could kind of see if we got any any um any deer in here but let me see what I'm going to You guys can see. Squirrels got into this one. So, lesson learned. Don't use plastic uh, feeders. Because they don't last. It's a brand new feeder. 140 bucks. Wasted. But, we're going to replace it with the new feeder that we're going to put in this place. I'll show you that in a minute. Right, guys, seven bags of corn. Testing it. Let's get a meal. 